Hi, Scott here from Scott Phillips Trading. So today I want to talk about a more advanced way of trading the failed breakout system. Now, uh, the traditional way of using the system is that you scan many different markets, you scan all the way down, and uh, um, and you, you find a short list of candidates that are trending on multiple time frames, and you try and trade along in the direction of the trend. Now, at some point, the trend will start to bend, like the trend has bend here, the trend has gone all weird here. Um, there's two ways to play this. Way one is that we can go outside of correlated currency trades, because all, all currency trades are inherently correlated, and we can start looking at other things like crude oil, like gold, like, uh, like bonds, like blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, for example, we've got a, a very strong trend right now in soybeans, due to that trade war stuff and uh, you know you can see that you get many many uh, lovely fail breakout and crazy Ivan trades in the direction of the trend when you get a strong trend but that's not what we're doing here where the the problem with trends is that they tend to happen altogether or fall apart altogether which is a real pain in the ass um, so here's a method of trading trends when they start to bend so, for example, if we look at Euro US dollar, got a good trend. This is a real trend. Any move like this, we can expect a second leg down. At some point, the trend starts bending. At this point, we can say if this trend is going to continue, it has to like just drop off the plate here. Anything other than drop off the plate is very suspicious. So this puts us on notice that we're probably going to start some more substantial mean reversion. Who knows? It could have stopped and reversed here. Okay. So at this point, trend continuation is the highest probability, but it's got to go down and break this low pretty quickly. The fact that it's not doing that, it's coming down to some sort of trading range, puts us in not on notice that we're in a trading range. We're not in a trend anymore. And an easy way of figuring this is that we count back the bars since the trend 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 bars is about where you can say, ah, oh, forget about all this, let's just look at this. So 20 bars is a useful rule of thumb. So here we have a trading range. How do we trade trading ranges? You try and take setups near the bottom of the trading range and you try and cash out near the top of the trading range. So you short here, buy here, short here, try not to get too greedy, expect a bit of chop. So at this point, we can reasonably expect this to get to at least here. So we start to have high probability outcomes to the upside. Now, I started trading, what you can do then is, is, uh, is something I started adding a couple of years ago, which is trading these moves counter trend using the crazy Ivan patterns. You can use the fail breakout setups, they work, um, but it's emotionally quite difficult to get a fail breakout setup with a very tight stop uh, working counter trend. I personally find it much easier to use uh, um, to use one of the particular crazy Ivan patterns, which is a deep retrace and then a retest of that deep retrace. So, so let me show you what I mean there. So, once the trend has kicked its hand, we have a deep retrace. One or more higher closes, one or more lower closes. We can get long here with a stop here, but that's a little speculative. It's much easier to wait for another one, which will invariably happen. We get a, a rally up, we get a deep retrace below this red line, and then we get one or more higher closes, one or more lower closes, and we get long here with a stop here and uh, this is the trade I mean I mean now in in the 60 futures I'll show you I don't use this target I just use it as a, as a roving target I pull that down to take profits but so ignore that 
um, but you can see on the futures, which is almost exactly the same, we've got this, we've got the same basic pattern. So it's long here, stop here, trade still looks okay, nothing to do. Okay, so other ways to trade this is when the market starts getting in gear. So the market is, is really tipping its hand here. We have a decreasing volatility period coinciding with this sort of triangular bullshit here. We've got a breakout. You can take any setup you like in the direction of the dominant trend here. It's going to have an edge. Now the edges, so you could take this hammer candle long here, stop here. Now, there's when the market gets in gear, there's a, uh, a more advanced technique, which is what I'm going to show you. We can drop back to lower time frames, both 60, 15 minute and 5 minute, and you'll see these um, retests off a deep pullback kicking off all day. So here we have deep pullback, significant low, one or more higher closes, one or more lower closes, Get long here, stop here. We have deep retrace, one or more higher closes, one or more lower closes, get long here, stop here. We have deep retrace, pullback, one or more higher closes, one or more lower closes, get long here, with a stop here. Now, the, um, so, we, so if you've missed a trade, you think you've missed a trade, you haven't really missed it because these things are going to kick off all the time. We can drop down to almost any time frame and we're going to, and we're going to see that again. So we have the deep retrace low, higher closes, lower closes and go, or we have the deep retrace low, higher closes, lower closes, long here, stop here. We have the deep retrace low, higher close, lower close, long here, stop here. So um, you can see these things kicking off all the time. And one of them kicked off in, uh, in Euro US dollar last night while I was making the video, which I sort of messed up. And you can see it here. Um, low, higher close, lower close, long here, stop here, which was never threatened. Made a couple of R. Okay, guys, thanks.